आचार्यपर्यताम वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल कुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकरलोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम वसुदेवसुत कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यान ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामुसंदा भगवदीते भवद्वेषिणी यं ब्रह्मेन्द्रुद्रमुता स्तुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायती यं साम ध्यानावस्थित तद्गतेन मनसा पश्यती योगिन यन विदुस्सुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम भगवद्गीता अध्याय सिक्स श्लोक ट्वेंटी नईन सर्वूतस्थमा चात्म ईक्षते योगयुक्ता सर्वत्रशन The verse explains the vision of a yogi. The understanding, the perspective that a yogi has owned up. the perspective that a yogi has assimilated it is very much the vision revealed by the shastras revealed by the upanishads as well as bhagavad gita for a beginner for a layman the teaching of the shastra seems to be remote
देर ईस ब्रह्मन देर ईस आत्मा मोस्ट ऑफ इन पीपल ईवन वंडर ईज देर एनी थिंग कॉल्ड ब्रह्मन एट ऑल so even the presence of brahman is remote then we need not say anything about our selves being brahman but on the contrary for a yogi for a jnani brahman is more real than anything else there was a conversation between ramakrishna paramahamsa and vivekananda as a young boy as a young college boy vivekananda was trying to find out whether anyone has seen god he came across many people and he asked many people perhaps everyone who had a beard he asked have you seen god nobody said yes then he heard of one ramakrishna paramahamsa in dakshineshwar and he came to this ramakrishna and he asked him have you seen god have you seen god then ramakrishna paramahamsa said i have seen god more clearly than i am seeing you from this statement we can understand the vision of a yogi for a yogi brahman atma is the only reality and this vision is described in this shloka sarva bhutastha atmanam for a yogi the atma is not confined to one given name and form it is all pervasive sarvabhutastham atmanam the same atma is pervading every bhuta every individual entity an individual entity is called a bhuta any given name and form is called bhuta the atma pervades every bhuta 
the atma is all pervasive it is not confined to a given name and form likewise the other part sarva bhutani chatmani all bhutas are in the atma every object every name and form are in the atma implying that the objects are not independent in their existence the objects are dependent on atma for their existence that means the objects are mithya every name and form is mithya jagan mithya brahma satyam jagan mithya and brahman is nothing other than the atma this is a yogi's vision ikshate this is how a yogi sees he constantly dwells on this understanding therefore a yogi is called sarvatra samadarshanah because of this vision a yogi is sarvatra samadarshanah he sees the same brahman as the only reality in everything therefore sarvatra everywhere samam pasyati he sees the same brahman without any differences such a person is yoga yukta atma his mind is endowed with the yoga the vision of a yogi the vision of jnana shloka 30 यो मश्यति सर्वी पश्य तहन्न प्रणश्या स चेन प्रणश्य this shloka can be understood only by a bhakta
certain things can be understood only if you have experienced certain things in life for example what is the pain of giving birth to a child how painful it is to give birth to a child i can never understand in my life also the other men here cannot understand likewise certain things that are told in shastra can be understood only if we have certain types of spiritual experiences now let us consider a bhakta a devotee a bhakta this bhakta he wants to be in touch with his bhagavan all the time in fact that is the prayers of the bhakta if you look into any songs written by bhaktas they ask for a constant proximity with the bhagavan like one bhakta writes mad hridaya mantapa dolu parishobhisu tiru panduranga o panduranga please be in my mind always and another song says give me darshan and do not go away from my eyesight and then certain songs of devotion they are about viraha viraha means separation sometimes the bhaktas are missing bhagavan and then they talk about viraha they express their pain i am missing bhagavan i am missing his darshan a bhakta in his sadhana sometimes he experiences the presence of bhagavan in his proximity whereas on some other occasions he is not able to relate to bhagavan there is some kind of dryness in his mind he is not able to re- remember bhagavan with the devotion he is not able to experience the fervor of devotion in himself these are the periods of dryness and it is viraha he misses bhagavan's experience the spiritual experiences that he had 
experienced some other time therefore as long as as long as there is dvaita you and bhagavan are different we are in the understanding of dvaita there is a possibility of viraha we experience the pangs of separation from bhagavan but these pangs of separation come to a come to an end when you have understood that the bhagavan is not away from you the same bhagavan is your own atma your own swarupa and he is present everywhere when this fact is understood then he will not experience the pangs of separation anymore because he knows that i am never away from bhagavan i am never away from paramatma neither i can go away from paramatma nor paramatma can go away from me there is absolute proximity between paramatma and the bhakta and this proximity is accomplished by the jnana jnana has removed all the distance thereby all the obstacles that could separate a bhakta from bhagavan therefore bhagavan says the bhakta a yogi is a bhakta even before becoming a yogi even before becoming a jnani he had been a bhakta because without bhakti it is not possible to climb the stairs of jnana nowadays people want to get the jnana without bhakti they want to take shortcut but unfortunately it is highly impossible so this bhakta as a result of his bhakti as a fructification of his bhakti he has become a jnani he has attained the knowledge of jeevatma paramatma aikya therefore he has the vision of oneness and the vision of oneness that was mentioned in the previous shloka is restated in this shloka the first first half of the shloka is a restatement see in any any statement 
वन पार्ट इज सब्जेक्ट एनदर पार्ट इज प्रेडिकेट सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट इन सैंस्क्रिट द सब्जेक्ट पार्ट इज कॉल्ड उद्देश्य एंड द प्रेडिकेट पार्ट इज कॉल्ड विधेय द सब्जेक्ट पार्ट इज रैदर री स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वॉट हैज बीन ऑलरेडी स्टेटेड it is uddeshya and after stating that a new fact is revealed it is called vidheya now in this shloka the first half is uddeshya the second half is vidheya therefore the first half is a restatement of the idea conveyed in the previous shloka yo maam pashyati sarvatra yah maam sarvatra pashyati this yogi this jnani he sees paramatma everywhere सर्वंचमयी पश्यति एंड ही सीस एवरीथिंग इन परमात्मा एवरीथिंग इज सपोर्टेड बाय परमात्मा नथिंग एग्जिस्ट अवे फ्रॉम परमात्मा ही हैज गॉड दिस विजन देयरफॉर भगवान सीस for such a person such a bhakta tasya ham na pranashyami i do not disappear for him means paramatma does not go away from him see a bhakta sphere a bhakta's problem can be two fold one is paramatma should not go away from me that is why a bhakta prays please be with me please don't go away from me sukha vagali bahu dukha vagali सखनी ना गिरु पांडुरंगा ओ पांडुरंगा बी मई फ्रेंड बी मई कंपेनियन इन बोथ प्लेजर एंड पेन डू नॉट गो अवे फ्रॉम मी डू नॉट डिसअपियर फ्रॉम मई विसिनिटी सो दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ फियर भगवान में गो अवे फ्रॉम मी एंड अनदर टाइप ऑफ फियर इज आई मे गो अवे फ्रॉम भगवान आई मे लूज इंटरेस्ट इन भगवान आई मे गेट डीविएटेड फ्रॉम द पाथ ऑफ भक्ति दिस इज अनदर फियर so a bhakta until he becomes a jnani he will have these two types of fears but when he has become a jnani he is free from such problems because bhagavan can never go away from him and he can never go away from bhagavan therefore he says tasya ham na pranashyami tasya bhaktasya jnaninah the jnani bhakta the jnani 
योगी भक्त अहम न प्रणश्यामी आई डू नॉट डिसअपियर फ्रॉम हिम आई डू नॉट गो एवे फ्रॉम हिम एंड लाइक वाइस सच मे न प्रणश्यति ईवन द भक्त डस् नॉट डिसअपियर फ्रॉम मी ईवन द भक्त डस् नॉट गो एवे फ्रॉम मी देर फोर ए ज्ञानी ईज ऑलवेज विद द भगवान there is no distance between a jnani and bhagavan and in future also there is no possibility of such a distance between bhakta and bhagavan after jnana all the possibility of distancing bhagavan and bhakta are destroyed for good so next shloka sarva bhuta sthitai yo maam bhajatye katva ma sthitaha वर्तमानोपी सयोगी मयि वर्तते हाउ ए योगी लिव्स in what condition a yogi lives does not determine his proximity with the paramatma irrespective of his lifestyle irrespective of what he does irrespective of where he lives a yogi abides in paramatma therefore should a yogi live in a particular place to get moksha should he live in a particular way to get moksha he is always muktaha as soon as he has got the jnana he is muktaha therefore it is said tanum tyajatu va kashyam swapachasya grihe thava jnana samprapti samaye mukto sau vigata shayaha 
مے ہی لیو ہس باڈی ان کاشی اور مے ہی لیو ہس باڈی ان اینی لوکل لوکل ہٹ اسلم ہی مے لیو ہس باڈی ان کاشی اور ان دا اسلم آف بینگلور اور بامبے ویر ایور ہی لیوز دا باڈی اٹ ڈز ناٹ میٹر بیکاز ہی ہیز آلریڈی اٹینڈ دا پرماتما ارسپیکٹیو آف واٹ ہیز باڈی ڈس ارسپیکٹیو آف ویئر ہیز باڈی لائز ہی ابائڈس ان پرماتما دیر فور سرو بھوت استھتم یو مام بھجت یکتو ماستھتا یہاں سرو بھوت استھتم مام ایکتوم آستھتا بھجتی سرو بھوت استھتم مام پرماتما ای سرو بھوت استھتا He is present in every, every being, every object. Sarveshu bhuteshu sthitaha. The one who is present in every object, the all-pervasive. Ye ekatvam asthitaha bhajati. Abiding in Ekatva, abiding in Oneness, I am not different from Paramatma, I am not different from Brahman. Abiding in this vision, a Jnani worships Paramatma. That is why Krishna says bhajati, even such a vision, even abiding in such a vision is a worship, it is a bhajanam, it is a worship, in fact it is the ultimate form of worship. The ultimate form of yajna, as Krishna has described in chapter 4, there are so many other types of yajnas. Dravya yajna, tapo yajna, japa yajna, pranayama yajna, ityadi ityadi. There are various types of yajnas, but then he says, the greatest yajna is jnana. Shreyan dravyamayad yajnat jnana yajnaf parantapa sarvam karma khilam partha jnani parisamapyate. The greatest yajna is jnana. In fact, all other yajnas are meant for arriving at jnana. Jnana is the culmination of all other forms of yajna. Therefore, Bhagavan says, Bhajati, He serves me, He worships me with the understanding of Ekatva. Being aware of the oneness, being aware of 
द वनस ऑफ जीवा एंड ब्रह्मन ही इज डूइंग द ग्रेटेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्शिप सहा सर्वथा वर्तमानोपी ही मे रिमेन ही मे लिव इन एनी वे इन एनी मैनर सर्वथा इन वॉट सो एवर वे ही लिव्स सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी Sometimes he may be living in a city and doing karma, doing various types of works, or he may live in the cave of Himalaya and live in meditation. There can be various types of yogis. we cannot judge we cannot even know who is a jnani there is no way of knowing some people may have beard some people may not have beard beard is not an indication of spiritual growth a charisma in appearance is not an indication of spiritual growth because jnana is internal nobody else can see sarvatha vartamanopi as in bhajagovindam shankaracharya says yogarato va bhogarato va संगरतो वा संगवीन यहाणिमते चित्त नंदति नंदति नंद योगरता ही सेंगेजड इन मेडिटेशन इन द केव ऑफ हिमालय और अनदर पर्सन इज भोगरता he lives in a luxurious house bhogaratah another is sangaratah he is in contact with the various people he is in facebook twitter whatsapp sangaratah he is in social media and another person is sangavihinah he has not kept a mobile phone irrespective of that if his mind dwells in brahman yasya brahmani ramate chittam if his mind abides in brahman nandati nandati nandatyeva he definitely enjoys the result enjoys the presence of brahman enjoys the presence of paramatma within himself he enjoys moksha so saha yogi that kind of a yogi sarvatha vartamanah api मयी वर्तते इन वॉट सो एवर वे ही लिव्स ही अबाइड्स इन मी ओनली ही डस नॉट लूज सैट ऑफ परमात्मा श्लोक थर्टी टू आत्मोपम्यन सश्योर्जुन 
சுகம் வாயதி வா துக்கம் சயோகி பரமோ மத A very beautiful shloka. Very important. Because this is a quality to be cultivated. If one wants to become a yogi. if i have to express in english in one word this ca- this can be called empathy all of you are familiar with the word empathy what is empathy it is the ability to sense the other person's emotions the others difficulties others sorrow others pain the ability to be in others shoe and it is beautifully conveyed in this verse A yogi is a man of empathy. He is able to feel both the pleasure and the pain of other beings as his own pleasure and pain. Yaha சர்வத்திர ஆத்மோபம்யேன சுகம் வா யதி வா துக்கம் சமம் பசியதி சர்வத்திர ஆத்மோபம்யேன பசியதி ஹீ சீஸ் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஸ் ஹிஸ் ஓன் ஆத்மா ஆஸ் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் every being every other person and here krishna does not say only human beings even the other beings even a dog even a cat even an a sheep or a goat ஆத்மோபம்யேன சுகம் வா யதி வா துக்கம் த சுகா ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் துக்கா தி அதர் பர்சன்ஸ் சுகா ஹீ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹீ ஹீ நோஸ் ஆஸ் ஹிஸ் ஓன் சுகா யுவர் ப்ளெஷர் இஸ் மை ப்ளெஷர் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஹாப்பி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி that is why he will try to give happiness to others and he knows how to be happy in others happiness it is the real broad mindedness the ability to be happy in the happiness of others is the true magnanimity and dukham samam pasyati even the dukha the other people's pain samam pasyati he sees as his own pain therefore he will have 
compassion unconditional compassion and therefore he tries to relieve the other people's sorrow that is why the yogis teach others the gnanis teach others the brahma vidya why so that they can relieve the others pain they can they can release the other people from samsara in fact that is the only reason because otherwise a guru has no reason to teach a brahma jnani has no other reason to teach than to relieve the other people from samsara that is why the texts the acharyas refer to a guru as the greatest as the ocean of compassion ahitukadaya sindhu a guru is described as ahitukadaya sindhu in viveka chudamani an ocean of unconditional compassion and the compassion is a result of the ability to see the other's pain as one's own pain therefore sukham va yadi va dukham ಆತ್ಮೋಪಮ್ಯೇನ ಸಮಂ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸಮಂ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆತ್ಮೋಪಮ್ಯೇನ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿ ಸೋನ್ ಪೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಂ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಆತ್ಮೋಪಮ್ಯೇನ ಸಮಂ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಹಿ ಸೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಹಿ ಸೋನ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೇ ಸ ಯೋಗಿ ಪರಮೋ ಮತ ಸಚ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಪರಮ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ he has accomplished the culmination of the spiritual pursuit this is where the spiritual pursuit culminates all sadhanas culminate in the vision of oneness ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ